Sky Moonbacks. I'm Steve Platformer, and welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. I'm here with Dr. Mendoza. Hey, Dr. Mendoza. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you, Steve Platformer? Thank you so much for having me here. Of course. Uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, how are you? I am doing great. I am so excited for everything that we have planned for this school year. I just can't wait. I can't wait to see you all again even if it's in a virtual environment. Exactly. Uh, Dr. Mendoza, you, uh, you have something prepared for today? Absolutely. I have a lot of great information. I know a lot of our community members and, and parents and students are looking forward to this information. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and share my All screen. Right. Well, this is our parent session, parent informational session, but I know this session will be very, very informative for our students and community members as well. So thank you everybody for uh, joining us this afternoon and watching this video. So welcome to Desert Sands Unified School District. The future is here. We are definitely going the distance together during this 2020-2021 school year, the year of opportunity. And it's really about navigating your adventure. Together, we will go the distance. And that is the promise that Desert H Academy has for you. I am Dr. Mendoza, principal of the amazing Diamondbacks, where we lead with accountability, integrity, and respect. So first of all, I would like to review SB 98, which is the distance learning vision for California. And in California, this is gonna be completely different than what we had at the end of last year. Um, so let's erase that out of our memories and think about our daily interactions with teachers where we didn't have that before. We're also required to provide 240 minutes of instruction outlined by the governor, and it will be a blend of synchronous and asynchronous instruction. There will be grading and there will be attendance mandatory. Do you have any questions, the platformer? Uh, no, that was all pretty clear for me, but, uh, yeah, no, that was all pretty clear. Thank you. But I do like to point out the difference between synchronous and asynchronous instruction. So I'm going to go to the next section. Synchronous instruction is learning that involves a group of students engaging in a learning at the same time. That means instruction is facilitated by a teacher and it requires students to be virtually present at the same time. We really think that the social emotional learning needs of our students will be met if we continue to make those connections daily and they really do need interactions with other students. And that is the uh, intention of synchronous learning. Asynchronous is a student-centered learning method using online resources to facilitate information outside the constraints of the time and place among people. So it is self-directed, self-paced, and does not require all students to be virtually present at the same time or interacting you know, with a teacher. So that is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous learning. Um, if I can ask a question. Absolutely. Uh, is, will there be time set, out, uh, set aside during the day for, uh, for asynchronous learning? Absolutely, there will definitely be. We are going to review our schedule, our distance learning schedule, and I know that's what everybody's looking forward to seeing. So we will be doing that in the next couple of slides. So stay tuned, we'll, we'll touch base on that. Gotcha. So for distance learning in 2020, grading will be based on content mastery of essential standards. We know that distance learning is quite significantly different than what we have in traditional learning. So mastering of essential standards it's really the focus of this year. Attendance is also very, very important. We will be taking attendance daily and three absences of any of your classes will be considered an absence and truancy. It is, we have high expectations for teachers, students, administrators, and district to provide the best quality of instruction. And we also be, will be providing diagnostic assessments uh, for our English language learners via the LPAC. We also have a platform, which is new this year, iReady is a, a K-12 diagnostic tool for English language arts and math. And we have SD Math, which is not new. We've, we had it last year 
It is a K-8 diagnostic and learning tool for math. Questions on that, Steve Platformer? Uh, no, that was all that was all pretty clear for me. Thank you. So as you can see, teachers and staff, administrators and students have high expectations for our students. And therefore, teachers will be provided with um, a lot of support from coaches and administrators. There will be virtual classroom in Zooms accessible for all students and our administrators and coaches to be able to provide those supports. And teachers have been in multiple, multiple um, trainings to become adaptive experts. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was clear. Thank you. So now, what are the expectations from Desert Sands Unified School District's uh, distance learning? We have five very important expectations. We are expecting all of us, as I mentioned, administrators, teachers, staff members, to establish norms and expectations for all, to have meaningful student engagement, to check for understanding regularly through formal and informal assessments, provide feedback and maintain communication with students and families, and to leverage curriculum and instructional technology to enhance instruction. Uh, does that mean that we'll be seeing our teachers, uh, we'll be seeing our teachers every day? Absolutely. It is expected that you will be seeing your teachers every day. Maybe not all of your classes, but the teachers that you have scheduled for the day, you will be seeing so that they can establish those norms, have that meaningful uh, engagement with you guys check for understanding and provide feedback regularly. So we definitely need you guys connected. Gotcha, gotcha. So here's a moment that we were waiting for. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right. So we have distance learning schedule. This is the approved and very, very well reviewed by um, our teachers and administrators and the district so that we can provide the best instruction for all of our students. So what we have is a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday schedule, whereas Wednesday will be slightly different. So I'm gonna focus on the, uh, the majority of the week so you can kind of understand what the schedule will entail. So as you can see, the very first um, hour of the day for students will be at 8.50. That's when our students will be reporting to first period. Before that, from 8.20 to 8.50, our teachers will be available to answer any questions that you students or parents have on regards to student instruction. Following that, you have second with a 10 minute transition and restroom break because we understand that uh, attending a class of 70 minutes can be tiring. You might need to take a, a you know, and go to the restroom. So you have a nice 10 minute transition. You go to second period, then lunch at 11.20, 40 minute lunch like, like as usual. And you also have third period, a break and fourth period. So as you can see, Mondays and Thursdays, you will only be reporting to periods one, two, three, and four. At the end of the day, our teachers will be connecting with one another uh, via their uh, department professional learning teams so that they can plan, they can adjust any of their lessons and really collaborate about best practices that will benefit our students. And this is critical during this virtual learning time as we're all adjusting to this new normal. Okay, any questions on the Mondays and Thursdays, uh, Steve Platformer? Uh, yeah, this is, this is, kind of an overall question that in regards to this whole thing uh when when will uh when will we be receiving our individual schedules uh for our days absolutely that's a great question so our uh counselors are working really really hard i kid you not day in and day out developing your schedules 
right now as we speak. Actually, I just got a text from one of our counselors. So we are planning to finalize those schedules by the end of this week, and we are hoping to release them by late Monday. So we have kind, you know, a couple of things that we need to make sure that they're all straightened up before we release them. However, one of the important things that I want to remind everyone that this will be released, the schedule will be released via parent and student view. So there will mm. need to be no physical contact. There is no need for you to come to school and pick up a schedule or anything like that. Just be expecting um, or checking your student view and your parent view for those schedules, as well as emails. Your teachers will be emailing every single one of you uh, on regards to the Zoom addresses and the Google Classroom codes so that you can access their classes. So after Monday, you want to be checking your student view and you also want to be checking your emails. Gotcha. Okay. So now, Tuesday and Friday are very similar to Monday and Thursday, uh, but in except you will be reporting to periods five, six, and seven. You also have your 10 minute transition breaks. Um, and then you have at the end of the day an eighth period, but it's a homeroom period. This is a class where you will be uh, provided with social emotional learning um, lessons. You would also be asking questions logistical questions that you might have, maybe instructional questions. So there will be a class in which you will be connecting every single day so that you can answer those or ask those questions that only a teacher can answer for you. So we have those homerooms. And as you can see, you will be released after that time at 1.50. So you can see there is a different release time. Monday and Thursday, your release time is at 2.30, and on Tuesdays and Fridays, your release time is at 1.50. Okay. Uh, can I ask about why, why the difference in, uh, in release times? Why? That is a great question, and I am so glad you're answering it. One of the main focus that we have at DRA is that we have over 20 clubs. And it is very, very important to us that you continue to stay connected and engaged through the different clubs that we offer. So on Tuesdays and Fridays, we will be offering a, about a 40 minute session where you can connect with your club advisor, advisors. So those of you that are in clubs, that used to be in clubs, you can be part of the clubs. If you're not in clubs, which I really hope that everybody gets into a club, um, then you will be dismissed at 150. Got it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And then we have Wednesdays. Wednesdays are a little bit different. You can think about Wednesdays similarly to what we had um, last year as far as Thursdays, you know, where we, have a sh we had a shorter day. Uh, you had to come in a little later and we had a short day. Now, Wednesdays, it will be a short day, but instead of coming in later, you will come in at the same time as usual, which is 8.50. You will report to your homeroom and then you will have what it's called um, asynchronous learning time using the iReady and SDMath uh, platforms independently. Remember how I mentioned to you that there will be time allocated for that asynchronous learning? Yeah. So this yeah. is going to be your time. From 9.50 to 11, to 10.50, excuse me, you will be responsible to um, log in to your iReady platform or SDMath independently so you can log on, log on those minutes that you really, really have to input every single week, okay? Gotcha. And then in the afternoon after lunch, you will be connecting with uh, certain classes um, that you need for intervention or enrichment. So here it is. Here's the thing that you guys have to understand the students that if you're doing well in all of your classes, you will have an opportunity to join an enrichment class. It could be one of your electives, or it could be other opportunities that some of the clubs will put in place. Or if you are struggling in any of your classes, which is fine, sometimes there's gonna be challenges in some of your core classes. Um, if you're getting a D or an F in any of your classes, you will be required to attend some of the interventions in which your particular core class teacher will be assisting you to make sure that you are succeeding in your core classes, okay? 
and your release time will be at 150. All right. Okay, but there is also an opportunity for clubs after that. For those of you that are in clubs, again, if you do choose to be part of a club, then you will be released at 225. So I really encourage everybody to be part of this. All right. So any questions regarding the distance learning schedule? Uh, I, I asked all the, the questions that were on my mind, so uh, no. No, oh, fantastic, and thank you. Thank you so much for those questions. Now, here's the thing. The first day of school is going to be when? Do you know? Uh, the 19th. Yes, which happens to be a? Wednesday. A Wednesday, right? So when we are looking at that schedule, it is important to know that because it is Wednesday, we will be following the Wednesday schedule, okay? So we have to keep that in mind. When you look at your student view account, you will be able to see period zero, which is gonna be your homeroom. And now the iReady and SD map um, asynchronous work will not be expected for the first week of school. What mm -hmm. we're gonna do, we're gonna wait until you go to your English language arts class and your math class so they can provide you with all the information that you need so you can access those platforms, okay? Gotcha. And then the intervention and enrichment, because grades are not in, is the very first day of school, there's no intervention, you will have to report a period one and two. Those periods will provide you with information that will be very important as we start the school year. All right. Okay. Now, not all of the clubs will be up and running on Wednesday. So you may or may not get emails from your advisor. So just be patient. We'll probably start our clubs the following week, uh, but definitely for your homeroom period zero and periods one and two, you will be receiving emails from your teachers on Tuesday. All right. Awesome. Okay, so if there's no more questions, um, I would just would like to inform our parents that there will be district uh, parent trainings coming up. There will be a parent view, Synergy login and password uh, training, a Google Suite training, and a clever overview and login training. Please visit uh, the district website for more information regarding those trainings and addresses to attend those trainings. Okay. And please visit the Desert Ridge Academy website for training needs input. So we will be seeking as a site, what are some of the needs that you have as parents so that we can provide you support and training. So please, please, if you can, if you have some ideas, fill out the Google form and we'll be looking at it so that we can provide you those trainings. All right. Awesome. And finally, um, I would like to give you some important information regarding office hours and community support. Remember parents and community, we are here to answer all of your questions. So we are trying to provide different venues and different ways to be accessible to you. So the first thing that I would like to uh, show everybody is a frequently asked pay, uh, questions page that we have on the website. It is the link um, that you'll be able to see. It looks very much like this. You will have information regarding school in general, registration, books and Chromebooks, TDAP information, distance learning information. All of these questions have a contact person and a phone number that you can call from four to eight to get all of your questions answered. You can also look at the different frequently asked questions and responses um, to see if you find the answer that you were looking for. Uh, furthermore, if we're not answering your questions at this point, please, please feel free to call 393-5500 anytime from 8 to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. We have the wonderful ladies in the office answering all of the phone calls for you. Physically, you can always visit our site through the library windows because remember, safety is our number one priority. Uh, from 10 to 12 p.m. and from 1.30 to 3.30 Monday through Friday. Again, through the library windows. And if you're anything like me and you are having a hard time going to bed at night and you have all these questions in your head, feel free to just go to our, just our DRA website, select the Google form that is available to you and fill out this questionnaire and, in which you can add any of the questions that you have and we promise to get back to you within 24 hours. Okay, so that way you don't forget your questions. And of course, 
um, if you know our first and last name, you can email any of the staff members. Um, if you know first name dot last name at desertsands.us. And I always recommend, please, please visit our website. Thank you, Dr. Mendoza. That was a lot of great information.